We look forward to 2020 and winning and making America great again and again and again. A resignation followed by a swift reversal, only adding to the drama surrounding now former Liberty University President Jerry Falwell Jr. and his wife as the prominent Trump supporters confront a sex scandal. The board of the Evangelical University meeting today to seal Falwell's fate after he waffled over what to do next in a series of phone calls with the Wall Street Journal, repeatedly insisting he had done nothing wrong, telling the paper he is still due his full compensation and saying of the board, they put me on leave because of pressure from self-righteous people. The unflattering end of Falwell's term as university president, coming as a man, Giancarlo Granda, told CNN he had a years-long extramarital affair with Falwell's wife after the couple met him on a trip to Miami eight years ago. Granda telling Reuters Jerry Falwell enjoyed watching from the corner of the room while the pair had sex. In a lengthy statement to CNN that referred to a, quote, fatal attraction type situation and included multiple references to scripture, Jerry Falwell admitting his wife's relationship but denying being involved at all, let alone having watched. Becky had an inappropriate personal relationship with this person, something in which I was not involved. Reuters first reported Granda's side of the story. Granda saying the liaisons happened multiple times per year at hotels in Miami and New York and at the Falwell's home in Virginia. The agency also publishing text supplied by Granda, including from Becky Falwell, who serves on the board of Women for Trump and has been called the first lady of Liberty University. You're there at Liberty University and, and you guys are training tomorrow's workforce, but you're also promoting traditional family values. In one text from 2012, she allegedly writes to Granda, right now I am just missing you like crazy. Have you had this effect on all of your lady friends? Falwell was one of President Trump's most prominent evangelical supporters. His January 2016 endorsement helping the thrice-married real estate mogul with a history of alleged extramarital affairs win the support of white evangelicals, a key voting bloc. I truly believe Mr. Trump is America's blue-collar billionaire. He is down-to-earth, he loves America, and the American people.